This is a very beautiful, so big sunflower garden. So I thought to show it to you. These gulgulays are so tasty and made within five minutes and with the available ingredients in your kitchen. So let's get started. For this recipe, I took here two overripe bananas. Generally, we throw them, but I love to make this gulgulay because my family they all love it. So I'm using a fork, uh, but if your banana is not very ripe, you can use the mixi pate. And then I'm adding here half cup of shuji or semolina. Next, I'm adding half cup of rice flour, then half cup of shredded coconut, and I chopped here some coconut too. That is like two tablespoon around. But if you don't like, you can skip this also. To flavoring these gulgulays, I'm adding one fourth teaspoon of fennel seed or some. And next, I'm adding one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm using here brown sugar half cup but uh, if you don't have brown sugar you can add jaggery or you can also add um, regular sugar if you like more sweeter then you can add two tablespoon more also but as we are already adding bananas so it's already sweet so you can adjust your sweetness according to you Next, I'm adding one fourth cup of milk. It's the raw milk, and I don't want to make it very watery. You can see the consistency of the dough. Next, I'm adding one teaspoon of oil, and I'm mixing it again, and then I'll rest the dough for 10 to 15 minutes. So now it's been 10 minutes, I'm adding oil in the pan and when it is medium hot, I'm making it in hand. I'll also show you a different way how you can make it in perfect shape. This was just a demo, next let's see the interesting part, how you can make these balls without uh, messing up your hands. So I'm using here the cookie dough scooper and I'm adding it to the hot oil so that it will not uh, you know stick to the scooper and here you can see how interesting it is and the balls will come exactly very perfect size isn't it super cool to look at these exactly shaped banana balls and uh, you can also use the bigger one but i just love the small one i would say don't fry these gulgulays in very hot oil then the upper part will become black and the inner part will not cook thoroughly so and i don't need any baking soda or baking powder for this recipe if you like a little bit more softer side then you can add a half teaspoon of baking powder or one fourth teaspoon of baking soda we already added shuji and uh, banana so this will give the outer side crispiness and inside it will be very moist this is a very unique recipe just uh, try it out and let me know in the comment section below how you like it and enjoy this gulgulays with a very hot tea thank you for watching see you in the next video bye